Matapos sabihin at ipangalandakan sa publiko na tatakbo sa pagsenador si Nakiko Pangilinan, Shell Jognod Bamakino, Leila Delima, na palpalagad matapos lumabas ang 2025 Tangerine Senatorial Survey kung saan lahat ng Liberal Party candidates ay nalaglag ulit sa top 12. Kumbermadong inilampaso ni former President Rodrigo Duterte ang Liberal Party candidate sa pagkasenador sa 2025 senatorial election. Ito'y base mismo sa naging survey ng Tangerine kung saan nalaglag sa top 12 ang mga Liberal Party candidates. Katulad ni dating senador Kiko Pangilinan, former senator Bam Aquino at De La Salle University professor and human rights lawyer Shell Jokno. Narito ang buong detalye ng balita kung saan kumpirmadong inilampaso ni former President Rodrigo Duterte ang mga Liberal Party candidates matapos manguna sa 2025 Tangerine Senatorial Survey. Narito ang buong detalye ng balita. Wala pa mang isang araw ay tila nagkatotoo ang babala ng marami sa mga DDS na muling magiging inidoro ang resulta ng mga kakandidato sa Liberal Party sa darating na 2025 election. Ito'y base mismo sa raging resulta ng 2025 Tangerine Senatorial Bet Survey kung saan wala kina Chel Jokno. Bamakino at Kiko Pangilinan ang nakapasok sa top 12. Kumpirmadong nanguna sa 2025 Senatorial Election Survey ang former president si Rodrigo Duterte na sinunda ni Erwin Tulfo, Tito Soto, Bongo, Isko Moreno, Manny Pacquiao, Pia Cayetano, Bato de la Rosa, Aim Marcos, Willie Ong, Francis Tolentino at Ben Tulfo. Former President Rodrigo Duterte remains top potential senatorial bat in latest Tangerine 2025 election survey. Despite the slight decline, former President Rodrigo Duterte remained in the lead in Tangerine's 2025 senatorial survey conducted from February 7 to 10. Duterte maintained his lead with 58% of the vote in the survey results released on Friday, February 23, despite a 2% drop from last month's 2025 senatorial survey. Former President Rodrigo Duterte gained the majority across demographics and areas though he is leveraging on the support of Visayas and Mindanao, while he is observing significantly lower votes in North Luzon, Central Luzon, given recent spats with President Bongbong Marcos, and in South Luzon, Bicol, where his historical fares lower. Tajrin said in a report. At CIS Party List Representative Erwin Tulfo come in a second with 55% voter preference, while former Senator Tito Soto finished third with 47% voter preference. Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo led the re-electionist after he coming in the fourth place with a 46% voter preference. Rounding off the top 12 will be former Manila City Mayor Isko Moreno, Senator Manny Pacquiao, Pia Caetano, Bato de la Rosa, Aimee Marcos, physician and online health personality Willie Ong, and Francis Tolentino. Senator Lito Lapid was displaced by new poll participant broadcaster Ben Tulfo with 36% to round out the top 12. Lapid, Senator Bonrevilla Jr. with 32%, Panfilo Laxon with 32%, former Vice President Lenny Robredo with 30%, and the television personality Willie Rivilime with 29% all came close to making the top 12. Tangeri survey, which used a mobile-based respondent application, has a sample size of 2,400 participants. The percentage of the respondents was distributed throughout the country, with 12% coming from Metro Manila, 23% from Northern Luzon, 22% from Southern Luzon, 20% from Visayas, and 23% from Mindanao. Unquote. Sa nasabing survey na inilabas ng Tangerine, wala nga sa mga Liberal Party candidate ang pumasok sa Magic 12 kahit survey pa lamang ito sa darating na 2025 midterm election. Tila di naigparaw sila ng broadcaster at radio announcer na si Ben Pulpo kung saan ito ang kumampleto sa Magic 12. Isa lamang raw ang ibig sabihin nito. Nilang paso sila ni former President Rodrigo Duterte at tila nagkatotoo ang habilin at babala ng marami sa mga DDS na kung hindi sa kungkungan, sa inidoro muli sila pupulutin. 
Ano ang iyong magiging reksyon matapos mauna sa 2025 Tangerine Survey? Si dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte para sa midterm election at ni isa sa mga Liberal Party senatorial candidate ang hindi pumasok sa Magic 12. Ano ang iyong magiging reksyon sa balitang ito? Just comment below.